So on Sunday night, I watched a movie called We're right by an airport, so I watched a movie called Third Eye Spies. And it was entertaining. It was very entertaining, I thought. Supposedly, 70,000 documents were declassified about the remote viewing program, supposedly used by the CIA for 20 years. And I'd always thought this remote viewing was some hocus pocus bunko crap. <laughs> You know, I mean, I don't know everything there is to know, of course, in the universe, and we don't utilize all of our brains, I'm sure. But I thought, wow, this is really interesting that the CIA spent, I believe, something like 20 years paying millions of dollars for a program if it didn't work. And so for about, well, for Sunday, Monday, and until around midnight last night, I thought, wow, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's a real thing. Anyway, a guy named Russell Targ is featured in the movie, and he claims that a friend and colleague by the name of Pat Price is buried in an unmarked grave here in North Hollywood in the Valhalla Cemetery. So I don't live far away and thought, let me go check that out. So I'm here to see if there really is such a thing uh, because he spoke about this guy and he, you know, claimed that he was his friend and you know, he said, oh, you know, this isn't right that he's just in an unmarked grave. And, you know, he gave 20 years of his life to this research. He was supposedly, um, he had worked for the Burbank Police Department, I think. And I agree, no one should be in an unmarked grave. That's, that's awful. And so I wanted to see it for myself. And I really didn't understand. The guy lives, I believe he still lives here in California. And if this was my friend, I would at least crowdsource some money. And I might, might even do that uh, to just get him a marker. But I'm not sure how things work. So all I'm doing today is just coming out here and seeing, is it really here? Does it really exist? Is there is such a thing? And was hoping that maybe he had purchased um, a gravestone or a marker. Maybe you can't do that for um, an unmarked grave. But it it appears that there's four people in this grave. So I'm not sure how that works. I did come across something very interesting. He is supposedly in um, plot 700 and so here I am and I'm going to show you what I found and um, then I'll tell you what I think of the movie. So this is very disturbing in my opinion that something would be so close. But here we have, it appears to be four, but this is 700 here. And I'm gonna shadow it if I go on this side, but anyway, I will shadow it, so. This is 700, 729, 730, and 
so interesting so that exists but over here is another 700 so why are there two 700s I that seems very 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 wrong but I I don't know so 729 728 701 700 701 so I just don't know why are there two I just anyway there it is there are two markers for 700. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to add this to the video, but last night around midnight, <laughs> it hit me and I thought, wow, you're so naive, but it was fun for about three days. So this is my, we'll just say hypothesis. My hypothesis is that the intel came before these remote viewers. Um, I do give respect to this guy, Russell Targ. He supposedly went to the CIA and said, hey, give me two million bucks and um, we'll put some ESP remote viewers in a room and we'll tell you where, you know, Russian nuclear codes are hidden. <laughs> and we spend our lives giving money to the government money that we get nothing in return for a lot of it not all of it but um i thought okay you know i respect the grift i respect the hustle but i think what this guy did was say you know here's the deal you have spies you're you know you're gonna gather intel that you're not supposed to gather probably from I guess five eyes whatever they had back in the 70s and 80s and you know you're gonna be flying over restricted airspace you're not supposed to be flying over or that you've agreed not to fly over you're gonna be uh, have spies in places you should not have them and you might gather intel on another country that you're not supposed to have and so when you have that intel, wouldn't it be convenient if you gave it to your remote viewers, your team, and said, here you go, this is you know, what you guys saw. And then you, you know, draw some pictures that are kind of close. And when you know, Russia finds out that you have intel on a new submarine that they've built, you say, oh, no, no, we weren't over there. We were in an office in Palo Alto. And our remote viewers saw that. They were just sitting in a room, you know. We can't control what they see in their minds. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, brilliant. Brilliant. So I totally give props to this guy. I just... I mean, good for him. And the program supposedly went on for 20 years. 
So for 20 years, you know, these guys did I don't know what. But this guy, I really, I respect the hustle. This guy, Russell Targ, if he's telling the truth in this movie, again, it's called uh, Third Eye Spies. It's available on YouTube if you have uh, no other platforms to view it. And said, hey, give me two million bucks and, you know, we'll set up some offices, I believe, at uh, the Stanford Research Institute. I haven't looked up where that is. At obviously, Stanford University. But um, they reference Palo Alto a lot in the movie. Anyway, so the SRI Institute. And, you know, just do whatever it is you have to do and you can blame the psychics. I love it. I really love it. And hey, you know, if you can really sit in a room and and concentrate and focus and use your mind to see things in another country, then that's great too. I fully, I fully support that. But um, I don't know. I I think the guy was just a great hustler. And. Um, I don't know about this this whole Pat Price unmarked grave thing because I feel like I live close by I'll probably crowdsource for a grave marker or something I don't you know that isn't cool that isn't okay that there's no marker that it's just some stone in the ground and it's super not okay that there's supposedly duplicate plots that's what is that? I don't know. I'm not in the cemetery business, but that seems very not okay. Um, and especially if this person was my friend and colleague for many years. But maybe it's just something that you're not able to do. So that's the intel from Valhalla Cemetery. And, um, that's all for today. This is called the Portal of, Fold of the Folded Wings. It's dedicated to the honored dead of American aviation. On the 50th anniversary of Powered Flight, December 17, 1953. It was built in 1924.
Amelia Earhart. Elmer Tarver. Bruce Little.